Hello and a very warm welcome. You are watching the Cricket Next YouTube channel. IPL 2024 is underway, and Geo Cinema is covering the IPL season in 12 different languages. And they have an extensive panel of experts, who will give us our insights and detail, expert opinions about the game, about the players, about the matches, and everything and anything related to IPL. In that panel, we have with us today Shane Watson, a Shane Watson, a Geo Cinema expert, who talks in detail about MS Dhoni, Virat Kohli, Rishabh Pant, and many many other things. So. do watch this whole interview and after the interview if you have any questions about chain about the IPL or any questions you would like us to ask the experts going forward do write those questions in the comment section down below please enjoy the interview thank you so much chain to talking to us i'll start with the thoughts on ipl 2024 so far we are 17 matches into the tournament kkr at the top mi at the bottom what do you have to say about the tournament so far Oh gosh, well, it's <laughs> it's been incredibly explosive um for especially for the batters. It's um it's been it's been mind blowing actually the the scores that we've seen in this this season of IPL so far. Um so early to be able to think that um a score of 270 and then and then a, another large score as well well over 200 that KKR got against Delhi Capitals. It just shows the the evolution of the current batting throughout the world it's not just obviously the IPL but around the world as well so um and then look there has been some big surprises in this IPL so far and the you know the main one is the mumbai indians being down the bottom of the table which we all expect to be right at the top of the table but we are only right at the very start of the of this IPL but the thing that is always the beauty of the IPL is the the unearthing of um some some stars young stars or stars that we haven't seen before and um that's always the the really special part of the IPL and on the biggest stage for so many young stars really putting their putting their hand up and putting their name um up in lights is something that's it's always a very special part of the IPL yeah and and talking about young stars ashin rishabh pant has made a comeback in this season and you have been very vocal about his comeback uh, how do you see uh, the matches that he has played so far and do you see him playing into the t20 world cup in a month's time now um look rishabh <laughs> rishabh is an incredibly special um human yeah. being uh, even before getting to know him very well with my time at the delhi capitals and then um obviously seeing and understanding what he went through when it came to um when it came to his accident and and coming back from that look there is no question as it as it happened and after it happened um for me only a few people would have been able to come back and come back so quickly from such a devastating injury and injuries that Rishabh um was faced with but he is a super driven young man and that's the thing that stood out for me with the the one full season that I worked with him at the Delhi Capitals is he's someone that's probably driven more than anyone I've ever been around he's desperate to be as good as he possibly can and there's no um there's no surprise to for me to be able to see him come back and then find his mojo so quickly honestly I thought it was going to take Rishabh up until the back end of the IPL to really find his mojo and find his groove back out out in the middle again but seeing him dominate over the last couple of games again it doesn't surprise me because anything he does doesn't surprise me he's so driven he's so um deeply engaged in how to be the best that he possibly can and to see him um as he's learning how to deal with his new body that he's had to really rebuild to better see him just execute his skills under immense pressure and see the the Rishabh Pant of old and some of those incredible shots that he's played that we've seen on the on the big stage is um is it's just an an inspirational story but even before even before the last sort of two years Rishabh Pant's story anyway is an inspirational story to come from from where he did and the desire and desperation for him to be the best cricketer he possibly could be meant that he was able to um represent india and perform for india um at such a young age chen uh, i want to know your uh, take on the t20 format because there's a lot of chatter that t20 is a youngsters format and from that chatter arises questions like should virat kohli be in a t20 team going into the t20 world cup what's your thought should be a mix of experience and youngsters or do you back all youngsters uh, to go into the t20 world cup 
Oh no, you definitely need a blend of of experience and and young um, talent as well. Uh, if you just if you just have young talent only, the team that you will have will more so be inconsistent. They'll shoot the lights out sometimes, but they'll they'll also they're learning really quickly as they go. Whereas experienced players are more chance of having been through various experiences in different pressure situations, whether it's a World Cup knockout game or whether it's a um, whether it's a standard sort of round game as well. So having that blend is critically important. And that's why you see the teams who do have that blend of experienced players who obviously can still perform at their very, very best and and dominate uh, the biggest the biggest tournaments and dominate world cricket. But um, so you need those. Yeah, and, and it needs to be a blend of the of the youngsters because the youngsters come in, they're incredibly skilled, incredibly talented. They've got amazing amounts of energy, but having those experienced players around them as they're finding their feet and, and making their way in international cricket is incredibly important for to be able to build a really successful team. So someone like Virat Kohli, the skill, the world-class skill that he has and performances under pressure you need him. You need him in a World Cup, a World Cup team. But you, again, you just need some exciting young talent around him as well to be able to just enhance the value that someone like Virat Kohli does add. Anjan, talking about experienced player, a word on MS Dhoni. This could very well be his last title, and the way CSK is performing, do you see that he might leave with yet another trophy now? Our CSK have got. Like they always do, they really don't have any holes in their team whatsoever. And we've seen that uh, from the start of this tournament as well. As soon as if one person is not there, then another one, someone else just comes and fulfills a role to you know, have, have a world-class quality. Um, for, for example, Devin, Devin Conway and Ratchan Ravindra. Uh, but for me to be able to see MS Stoney at the age of 42 still been able to play in innings like he did in the last game against the Delhi Capitals. Some of those shots are as good as shots as he's, as he's ever played. So uh, the big, amazing six over cover um, as a starting point just shows that he's still got some of his very best cricket um, available to him and available to us who are, who are watching and fortunate to be able to still be watching him. So um, as long as he's body's okay and he, he obviously manages his body as well as he possibly can then look in the end he can ms Tony with the desire that he's got and the skill that he's showing with the gloves and also with the bat then gosh he, he can continue to play for a number of years as we saw with um um tom brady uh in the in the nfl if you've got the desire and you've obviously got the skill that's so deeply ingrained in you then you can play for really as long as you want and MS Stoney showing that like he did in the last game. Shane, as an all-rounder, what are your thoughts on the impact player rule? Do you think this rule can affect the upcoming all-rounders, the young all-rounders uh, across the world? It does. It does certainly impact the the real value of of an all-rounder and a world-class all-rounder for sure, um, because now you can just you can really just build your own all-rounder within a, within an eleven by having two players. Who can battle a bowl and just mixing them in with the using um, integrating that in with the impact player. So look, it, it certainly does take away the real value of a of a world class all rounder. But look, in the end, if you've got a world class all rounder who can bat in the top five or six and then bowl critical overs, like you see when uh, Hardik Pandya is at his very best, then he's always going to be dominating dominating a game because of his presence they can have on the field. It just means that the bits and pieces all-rounders that sort of contribute little bits here and there aren't as valuable um, as, as they were in the past. So in the end, like anything, if you're the best at what you do, whether you're an all-rounder um, or you're a, a world-class batter or bowler, you're still going to have an impact on a game. Shane, you are an expert with Geo Cinema, and Geo Cinema is covering Dipel in 12 different formats. Uh, you basically cover English, but if given an opportunity, is there any other language amongst the rest of the 11 languages that you like to learn and talk in? There is one language I'd love to learn, even though by everything I hear, it's one of the hardest languages to learn as an English speaker is Tamil. Because of my incredible support that I have, that I had and still have from my time at CSK. They are the most incredibly loyal fans. 
there's a lot of CSK fans as well, not just in India, but around the world. So um, Tamil would be the one language that I would love to learn because of the incredible love and support that I've, that, that I've had from the very first day that I started playing at CSK. Again, to learn Tamil, I hear that it's incredibly hard, so I'd have to spend a lot of hours um, learning it. But, um, yeah, again, the love and support that I've got from the Chennai supporters has been something very special. Absolutely. And lastly, Shane, uh, what do you think Geo Cinema is doing for fan engagement in IPL? And how has your experience been so far connecting with Geo Cinema as an IPL expert? <laughs> Look, my my experience at Geo Cinema has been something incredibly special. I feel very fortunate to have had the opportunity um, for the Geo Cinema team to to want me here um, as as one of the insiders. But the th one um, super fun um, aspect that they have is the the stickers the Geo that's a part of the Geo Cinema app um, to be able to get the stickers of your favourite players and. Yeah, everyone's favourite player, and mine is, is is MS Dhoni. He's someone who everyone seems to really want to um, buy or um, or upload one of the stickers. So it's available to everyone. It just it's an, another way to be able to really connect with the the love and the love and passion that you have for individual players, but also for the teams that that we all that we all love. Yeah, thank you so much, Shane, for talking to us. Uh, wishing you all the very best for the rest of the season. Have a nice day. Appreciate it. Great to chat to you too. फास्टेस्ट क्रिकेट स्कोर अपडेट्स या सबसे डिटेल स्टैट्स क्रिकेट के अंदर बाहर की खबरें या हेल्दी डिबेट्स सबसे एक्यूरेट एनालिसिस या फैंस का क्रेज सबके लिए एक ही प्लेटफॉर्म क्योंकि क्रिकेट मतलब क्रिकेट नेक्स्ट